Hello everyone and welcome to another Tony refresh build. Today I am doing the Rumi's household and I am very excited to show you this house. I think this is a very fun modern home and I'm excited to share this one with you. So the original build for this family um, did have a small courtyard area and I wanted to keep that in there. However, I wanted it bigger. I wanted the home to really center around that courtyard area. So I went bigger with it and I did look at some pretty cool photos for some inspiration on this and there were a couple of different um, kind of mid-century modern homes that I looked at that I pulled ideas from. So that being said, um, I, I don't have like an actual inspiration house for this one. Um, which I don't think I've had for any of them anyway, but I have um, a few homes I pulled ideas from. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm just kind of playing with the roofing and trying to figure out how all of that is going to work. I wanted this a mid-century modern styled home, so the roofing is interesting. I know this isn't going to be everybody's, you know, cup of tea, but I like it. I think it's a fun architectural style. Um, it definitely makes a statement. So that being said, um, I do hope if you download this, you enjoy it because it is a fun build. It was fun to build and I, I like this, um, and yes, I will be adding this to one of my KSA files. <laughs> I know, I've been saying that with every one of these, um, with the intent of going through as I use them and adding in some other packs. Um, and like all of my builds for these refresh series, I am leaving space for you to add items from other packs but it is usable right from the first download. So here you can see I'm kind of playing with things. This floor plan does change um, a little bit. The general layout right now that you're seeing stays. But I do kind of play with it to make it a little more interesting, a little more fun. And just trying to kind of... I don't know, make it different. As I said, I wanted this mid-century modern look. Big windows. And you you want to look out at this beautiful landscape you have around you. Um, I also wanted it to not look like a huge monolith from the world map. So, it still kind of does. But once I add in the everything in the middle and really start playing this or you know building this out it really does come together pretty well now that being said i play with the roofs a couple times throughout the build i play with the rooms a few times throughout the build um, just as i get in to start designing and you know decorating inside i kind of realized i had too much space i needed less just because again this is a base game only build so there's not as much stuff i can throw into the bigger rooms so i'm trying to kind of shrink things down a bit and figure out how i wanted this layout to be i wanted each bedroom to have its own bathroom and there is a small half bath right in the entry area 
Um, other than that, yeah, you got to use the ones in the bedrooms. Um, I thought this would be a fun build being it's the roomies to do uh, maybe like roommates if you have university or of course for rent. This would be a fun um, rental that you could do like individual rooms in the house. Lots of things you could do with this. I honestly am considering in my own gameplay when I do play in this house, doing the individual room rentals. So they'd run a room and then the rest of it would be, you know, your common community space. I thought that might be fun. Um, especially if I decide maybe this is more of a, you know, group that's in college or you know, maybe some people just starting out. Something. I don't know yet. But I, I, it'd be perfect for that. Just the way it's laid out and all the amenities, of course. And if you don't have either one of those packs, you can, of course, just play it as is with this household. So, uh, you know, it works. Um, I did want to put in these cool little glass roofs. Again, because when I went to the world map... This was just looking like a huge monolith. Um, so I did that. I also stole this little roof idea that you don't see me build all of um, from the park in Oasis Springs. I'm eventually going to tear that down and that cool little roof thing will be going with it. But I thought this house was a perfect spot to put that type of roofing system. And um, I like it. I think it's kind of cool looking. Um, later on, I put a little seating area under there that I just absolutely love. I think it's just, this whole thing just turned out really cool, especially for being only base game. Um, so the other thing is I did want them to have a small yard. Uh, I didn't want a huge yard space. Mostly because I'm like, you have this big pool in the middle. Um, so, I have a small yard. I sunk down this living room area as well. And you can see me just playing with this, trying to figure it all out. Uh, I did use the same wood flooring throughout the whole home. Um, except for the bathrooms, of course. And I like it. I think it just gives this, I don't know, this vibe to it. Uh... And I use the industrial kitchen here, um, mostly because we just don't have anything that's really modern that would fit. I don't know. I mean, we have the other pet, the other um, counters, but I don't like the end pieces on those. So I don't use them very often. I may have to do a build where I'm forced to use them. Um, yeah, not sure where I'm going to do that yet. It might be one of the other homes that I try to redo here as a base game only. Um, but we'll see. So the other thing with this is I really did make this kitchen kind of a bigger kitchen with the intent of, you know, there's going to be four people living in this if you play with the original family. Um, technically, they all have double beds in the bedroom, so you could have eight people in this house. Um, that would all have bed space if you have like you know four couples so they needed some space so I gave it to them they have a lot of space in the kitchen there's plenty of eating areas and yeah I think I think this works well if you want a big you know kind of oh habitat type situation um, but I really think we need some more base game cabinets or at least some options for the ones that have weird angled end pieces. Okay. Sorry, it's my little rant today. Um, yeah, just for those of you who don't know, I did move this week. It is Saturday at almost 8 p.m. Uh, here in Nashville. 
I am exhausted from the week. So if I seem a little, I don't know, loopy, that's why. Um, it's just been a long week. It was a week of vacation that I got no rest on whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm going back to work exhausted on Monday. Um, I'm going to attempt to relax tomorrow. But yeah. So if I seem a little weird today, that's why. So anyway, uh, let's get back into this. Uh, as you can see, I struggled a little bit with this dining room area. I didn't know what I wanted to put in here, but it had to be a bigger table. I knew that much because it needed to fit, you know, four people plus a friend or two, right? So you can entertain here. Um, now there is room to put chairs on the end of this table. I did not, but you can do it. They can get through there. Um, when I play tested it, I did add the chairs on the end. I just didn't love the look of it. And for the purpose of this build, I didn't see a reason to have to put in those chairs. But if you would like to, they fit, they work. All right, so here I'm just kind of cluttering up the kitchen a little bit. We don't have a lot of base game clutter, so there's not a lot there, but I think I made it work pretty well. But there's also room to add some things. And it's still cool. I, I like how the kitchen turned out. Um, I did do this kind of little thing that I tend to do. I was trying to do something a little different than normal. If you've seen any of my other builds, I tend to put a piece of artwork in there that's shrunken down. This time I used the keys that are on the wall um, in both of those. Yeah, I, I, just something. Something adds some interest to that wall. Um, now that being said, I don't think you'll see that wall. So you might, depending on what angle you come through. Um, but it's there. They're kind of cool. I like them. Um, now this area, I, I kind of wanted it closed off at first, but then I realized, no, I really want it to be open. So you walk in and see into the living room. And I really wish base game just had a regular old post. Like I think it's get together has one. Just a plain square post instead of the ornate ones because that's what I wanted to put there. And instead I have this round monolith. It works. It's just not what I wanted. And yeah, but, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So here in the entry, I wanted to keep it somewhat simple, but at the same time, pop up color, make it, you know, I don't know, just fun. Um, and I think I kind of pulled that off. I also really wanted something else on those walls or on the windows because, I don't know, it just seemed like too much window, but not enough window if I took them out. Uh, so I put blinds up. I don't believe I put any window coverings in the living area here. The intent is there is eventually going to be a little garden type out thing out there. And I wanted you know, your Sims to enjoy it from inside. If you absolutely hate the idea of your, you know, Sims not having curtains, add them. Uh, the um, Roman shades. Roman blinds, however you want to say that, those work really well on these windows, and I use them in the bedrooms, in a couple of them anyway. Alright, so here you can see just kind of playing with rugs, trying to figure out what will look good, and also what I can use to fill this space. So I added a gaming table, figuring, you know, these are people who are you know, young and living together, they, they can have a gaming table. 
um, desk with a computer for everybody to use. I do, I do put in a few more things, but there is space over here by the computer area where you could add, I don't know, if you have other packs like the foosball table or something um, there. So I left some room for something to go there if you have other packs. If you don't, it's a nice dancing space. I mean, if you have one of the packs that love, you know, dance floor, you could put that there. Um, lots of little options. Um, I debated about a bar, but I just didn't like the way it looked. Um, uh, there is a bar in the build. It's just not in the living room. So I put in this little like reading nook area. Again, just kind of to fill in space, but also create some spots where maybe your sim can relax. You can see I try to kind of play with that chess table. Do I want it here? Do I not want it here? Um, yeah, I left a lot of space in the living room, so you can kind of play with that yourself. Or, you know, if you don't want to do that, it works. All right, so the other thing is artwork. I once again went onto the gallery and searched for no CC art and threw all that into here. And there's a few rooms I use artwork from the gallery on. And it's just because with base game only, there's only so much to choose from. And after doing, I don't know, I think I'm on like build six right now. Um, you get tired of the same old artwork. So it seems after a few days, there's usually a few more pieces added, a few more rooms that are added that have some fun artwork in it. Um, I downloaded quite a few that I just came across and liked for future builds. And yeah, I really, I, I really suggest if you're struggling to decorate, get on the gallery and search for no CC artwork um, as, a, as a hashtag. All right, so the gym, I thought, as you saw, um, that I would put in multiple equipment pieces, so a couple of treadmills, things like that. I decided just to go simple. But as you could see, there is room for more if you want to add extra or Again, if you have other packs and want to add other things into it. Um, but one of each of the base game athletic equipment is in that gym. And that is, we have that gym because one of the Sims in the Rumi's uh, family wants to be a bodybuilder. And I believe it's uh, Jay Huntington is his name. Um, yeah, he wants to be... A bodybuilder okay so if you haven't figured out yet this first room I gave to Zoe and the descriptions for these sims don't have any like favorite colors anything like that so I just kind of went with a vibe and so I kind of gave her I don't know not really a girly girly room but a girly room Okay, um, and figured she just is one of those that's just a bright, cheery person, but I didn't want her to be yellow, bright, and cheery, so focused on purples in here, um, and just made it just a very nice, I think, kind of calming type room, and that's kind of how I did this one, because really all I had for Zoe was, you know, she's a friend of the world, <laughs> that's about it. Um, so I just kind of figured she's your typical female, you know, likes girly things, but not over the top girly. Okay. So that's kind of how I decorated this room. I did put an art easel in here because I'm just going to say she's an artist. Okay. I'm going with that. <laughs> just because she needed something else in there. Mm -hmm. All right. So this next room here is going to be 
Michael's room, or Mitchell's room. Sorry, I think it's Mitchell. Um, and he wants to be a joke star. So I kind of made this like a, I don't know, he's attempting to be modern, but it's not quite working for him. Um, so we have the grays. We have, you know, kind of modernish furniture, but not quite. And I put in a microphone stand. Uh, you know, if he wants to, you know, tell jokes for a living, he's got to be able to practice. Um, and I do like how this room turned out. Um, if you saw a few mo moments ago, I was attempting to put like a little mini stage in. It just wasn't working where I had the microphone, so it didn't look right. Um, if I had thought about it before placing other stuff, I might have been able to get away with it, but um, I just didn't want to mess with moving everything around. Uh, but I do like what I end up doing over there with the microphone. Um, I kind of decided after putting that bookshelf in, I didn't like it there, so I stuck the mirror there and then moved the bookshelf. So now it's kind of like he's going to look in the mirror and watch himself as he, you know, tells his jokes. So the next room is going to be for Gavin, and he wants to be a best-selling author. So I kind of went old-school author vibe with this one. And I love this room. Uh, put in some bookshelves, a desk. It's got a computer so we can just do things and write. And I put in a small sofa. So I think this is a very cozy room. And... If I was an aspiring author, which I go back and forth on, I love to write. I've written for many, many years um, on blogs, things like that. One of these days, I'm going to get one of the books that are in my head on paper. I'll let you know when I do. But anyway, I love this room. <laughs> That's what I was going for. And he is a neat person. So I didn't want to put up too much clutter, but put a few things out on the uh, dresser and kind of, you know, kept it basic that way. All right, so the next one is our uh, bodybuilder's room. And because we have the whole gym area, I didn't put a whole lot of anything specific to jay huntington in here but i made it i don't know i kind of pictured a guy that really just you know he wants to be able to look at himself in the mirror and you know pose and that type of thing so i put that big mirror behind the dresser um, and then just kind of went from there as to you know very kind of masculine dark room vibes with this one but I do want to say maybe he's one of those guys that likes to look at himself, likes to do that, but isn't a total jerk. So that's that's how I was kind of decorating this. This guy isn't a jerk. He just, you know, he likes to be fit. And of course, I had to put sports posters up there and just kind of create that vibe. We're going to say he has a plant, and maybe he waters it. Maybe he likes plants. Maybe he doesn't. We will never know. <laughs> no, we will. Eventually, when you play. Um, so, moving outside. I wanted, of course, an outside dining area. And then I decided this area here had to be an outdoor kitchen. And I used these cabinets because it's really the only thing base game that might make sense outside but they work and i think it's just a cute little like outdoor kitchen area i didn't want to go too crazy with it mostly because we you know don't have outdoor kitchen in base game um to be honest if you have the outdoor kitchen set Throw that in there because I don't know if these counters will get struck by lightning um, sitting out there. So if you have it, replace it. 
If you don't, hopefully it works. All right, so just adding in a little bit of landscaping here and this, you know, just some interesting areas is pretty much what I'm attempting here. I have this little garden area and I was debating about, as you saw, putting in like a bed of some sort. Um, decided against that, just too much in that corner. And now just kind of decorating outside. So figuring out what I want around the pool area. Um, do put in this bar here with some cute seating, figure out how I want that to look. And really just creating this outdoor space. And I love this. I, I really do. Um, probably one of my favorite outdoor spaces yet. And it's just because it just came together really well in the end. It just looked really cool. I absolutely love this seating area here. I need to do stuff like this more where I do the seating and add planters. It just, I don't know, it creates a vibe. You will probably see me do more of that once I get to the island living pack for this series. Because why not? Right? Why not? Um, so here I also put out just a few lounge chairs. There is one per person but there's definitely room for more. Um, and as you can see here, just trying to figure out lighting and this dining area, the kitchen area did not like me when it came to lighting. I think I end up putting a set of candles in and then I play with the lighting like that and it still didn't look right. So I might've given up Kind of, I played with so much. It was just, it was crazy. I could not get it to work with me at all. And I just kind of gave up. It's a little dark back there is the point I'm trying to make. But um, hopefully in game it'll work a little bit better. Um, I did not play test this at night. So I'm hoping it'll work better all I got for you. Sorry. I didn't have time to run it through that long. Um, so here just trying to create, I don't know, a focal point interest area. Uh, just because that blank wall was there for the kitchen. And here I did add some actual like plants in the front. I mean, this is always a Oasis Springs. It's supposed to be kind of a desert, you know, area that they've made green that, that's how i'm you know describing this so i didn't want to put a lot of plants i wanted to follow that vibe um but i like it i like the simplicity of it all and i also absolutely love how i ended up doing this back deck area um or patio area technically it just came together so well I, I really I really do love this build um, and I hope you guys do too because I think it's one of my better ones it has taken me quite a while to do it um, I was hoping I had actually had more time to work on this one uh, but to be honest I haven't even started the video for Friday yet as of recording this <laughs> Um, will probably be a small build. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, just because I was hoping to have a little more time to actually record this week since I was off work, but the move did not quite go as planned. Nothing drastic. Just I ended up having to move much more than I planned on myself. So... Um, but it's done. I'm settled officially out of my other apartment and settling into the new one. All right. So I also want to apologize for the save sections. <laughs> um, I did cut out a few, but I missed a few too. But as I said, 
I'm exhausted. <laughs> Bear with me. Now it's just, you know, going through, figuring out lighting, um, windows that don't work. That's what that was. And just kind of deciding how I want this to look. I didn't do as much editing with this one as I have in the past with some of these other builds. If you like that, let me know. All right, we are at the end of this build. And again, I really had fun doing this and designing this home. And I hope you like it. I am going to let you enjoy the pictures and I will be right back. All right, I do hope again that you enjoy this build and that you're enjoying the series. If you are, please make sure to like the video, give, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, because then you'll be informed when I post more. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Friday.